Hey guys, it's Zen Burrow from the CineHorde Review, and here is another solo review about Man of the Year, starring Robin Williams, Louis Black, Christopher Walken, and Laura Linney. And I gotta say, for a movie released in 2006, it's kind of prophetic. And I mentioned this briefly in my written review, um, where it kind of predicts the rise of a show business type of person and how they get into the Oval Office. I am obviously talking about our current president, Donald Trump. So yeah, now one thing I want to point out is I'm not comparing Williams's character, Tom Dobbs, to Donald Trump because they are different people. For one, uh, Dobbs is funnier, actually has intelligence, and, um, well, he's just damn witty, all right? Our president is not very witty, even though he validates himself based on how many people laugh at his quote-unquote jokes. Um, and also, he's just a very mean human being. Um, I've watched a couple documentaries on Trump. None of them very flattering. Uh, they are they are good uh, investigative documentaries. For example, Trump, an American Dream. That's uh, on Netflix right now. I highly recommend it if you don't know much about his history. So yeah, but that's what the movie had me think about was our political system so structured that it's almost as if we really don't matter and I think that was one of the also the other interesting things in the film was the whole like the voting system and the computer glitch and how Dobbs got to be president in the film I thought like wow what if that's what if like maybe that's how Trump got in office although like we already know that <laughs> some people didn't vote and others were really believed in the Trump rhetoric of making America great again so yeah um, that's really what I wanted to expand on in this video the film is I thought the film was funny in its own right I know it was really, uh, really got panned when it was released. You know, I looked at the Rotten Tomatoes, 22%. I'm like, whoa, what the hell? But I don't know. I, I just thought it was a really poignant film, especially nowadays, especially since it came out in 2006. So, yeah, that's, those are my two cents, honestly. And I still recommend Man of the Year. Uh, it's very funny. Robin Williams still missed the guy. Uh, so yeah, check out our reviews, Cinehorde Review dot, or oh, never mind, the Cinehorde Review, and we'll see you next time at the movies.